Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today, we will be talking about the things that you need to do in case we have a blackout in the vessel. So come and join me in this new learning. So this is our emergency generator. It's a small generator which has around 480 kilowatts of capacity. But this is enough to supply all the essential loads to keep navigational equipment and some essential loads which for the safety of the vessel, it's enough to restore the main power. So, what are the things that you need to do in case we have a blackout on board? So first, on my list is that you need to stay calm. I have already experienced to have a blackout on board for around 7 times already maybe. But it would always be a different case if it is your first time. So of course, that's why I put this on my list to stay calm because the, the vessel is equipped with a good system that will run automatically so you, all you have to do is to stay calm then think about the next step which is to wait so we have an emergency generator emergency generator which is supposed to be taking over for not more than 45 seconds that is the rule so you just need to wait for 45 seconds and this emergency generator will run automatically and of course if it fails to run automatically within 45 seconds then it will be a different scenario and I am going to share you on how and what to do in case this one fails but for sure if you are checking it weekly you are doing the maintenance and all the PMS jobs in this one then you don't have to worry for sure this system will run automatically there are some things which is not part of our job but that is part of all the engineers closing the steam for the non-essential loads for the fuel which needs to be shot so that we can still have enough steam for the main engine that is part of the engineer's job after this one take over and then you have to check what had caused the blackout just check your alarm and monitoring system and then you will find there the last alarm which actually triggered to have a blackout and then from there you can start troubleshooting the main point here is to run the main power from your main switchboard supplying by your main generators so this is our switchboard everything that you will find here are essential loads loads for your navigational equipment backup supply voltage for your um, chargers this is supply 24 volts uh, your propulsion system steering gear for emergency steering for the steering gears for the elevator in case of blackout and someone is inside then this one take over and then you can still use the elevator to rescue the guy fire alarm system is also here uh, supply for your e85 box which is the wax um, Artiflex, FCMs for the main engine. So this system is still enough for every essential load.
we have different ways on how to start the emergency generator just like what i have said in case it fails to run within 45 seconds we can still start it using the battery so to run it using the battery we just need to put this switch to manual and then check this switch if it is on battery or in a hydraulic and then turn this lever to start the emergency generator put it into manual and just out so worst case scenario if it didn't start automatically and by battery then you can still start the system using hydraulic system so all you need to do is to put this lever on manual and then check this switch again if it is in hydraulic and then check the pressure on the line if it is 120 bar the working uh, pressure of this one is 120 bar and then you just need to step onto this handle and then it will start by hydraulic push it down, down. So now, let's put the emergency generator on load using this lever switch which we will just turn it on the test mode and it will do the onload test. We cannot do the onload test while the main engine is running or we are in the coastal as some of the essential loads might be running and it might stop or shut down the main engine or even worse our navigational system so just keep a note onto that one so now let's do the onload test Just like what I have said, the main goal here is that once you have a blackout, is to find the cause of the blackout and then restore the power on your main switchboard. Sometimes there is a trouble wherein your emergency generator is running but it's still not supplying the emergency switchboard. So all you have to do is to check the circuit breaker from your emergency generator going to your emergency switchboard if it is closed because this breaker has an interlock with your bus tie to your main switchboard because sometimes if your emergency generator is supplying your emergency switchboard then that bus tie should always be open or vice versa all you need to do is to stay calm wait for the system to run automatically your emergency generator should run not more than 45 seconds and then check your alarm and monitoring system if what had caused the alarm if it is safe now to restore the power on your main generators after restoring the power all you have to do is that 
we need to stop the emergency generator and put the emergency switchboard to your main switchboard and then put everything in automatic operation so that this system will be ready in case of emergency again. So I hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to subscribe, share, and comment on the things that you want to learn from the vessel which I will try to make another video on it. So thank you very much and see you on my next video.